If you're looking to get your Elder Scrolls fix before the Elder Scrolls 6 comes out in like 15 years or whenever it's going to come out, I have good news for you. I'm a huge fan of the Elder Scrolls series. Skyrim actually wasn't the first Elder Scrolls game that I played, unlike a lot of people. I didn't even jump into the Elder Scrolls franchise until like 2013, and before I played Skyrim, I made a point to play Morrowind and Oblivion before jumping into Skyrim, which was a great decision. Those two games, Morrowind and Oblivion, were fantastic. And Sky Oblivion is a huge mod project that aims to bring Oblivion into Skyrim's engine. This is an enormous task. It's a giant mod. It's a total conversion overhaul mod of Oblivion. Um, Skyrim's engine is a much newer engine than the Oblivion, Oblivion engine, and it looks way better. The game plays smoother. And this giant mod, which is free by the way, we just got a new teaser trailer for it, and it looks amazing. I'll put a link to the teaser trailer in the description below. You gotta check it out. It looks phenomenal. Oblivion was an amazing game, but the graphics are very dated. And while Skyrim itself is kind of dated at this point, it can still look very, very nice. And seeing Oblivion in Skyrim's engine, man, does it look good. I've always wanted to get involved in some of these mod projects, but I just, I don't have any of the requisite skills, so I kind of just have to stand here on the sidelines and watch and wait and cheer these people on. But I don't know, I thought maybe about doing some voice acting. I don't, I don't have a particularly special voice. I've always actually kind of disliked my voice, but I thought it'd be fun anyways. I mean, Did somebody say skooma? Because I could really use some right now. That, I mean, that would be really great. I don't know. Maybe I wouldn't really be very good at it. By the way, if you're new, consider hitting the subscribe button. We have a lot of fun here, and the community is awesome. And maybe share the video on social media. Helps a ton. I'm going to put together a little timeline to show the, uh, the history of this project. So in 2002, Bethesda Game Studios released The Elder Scrolls III Morrowind, and it was a smash hit. Four years later, in 2006, they released The Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion. And with the substantially more sophisticated engine that Oblivion was made with, a group of ambitious modders decided that they were going to take on the monumental task of porting Morrowind into Oblivion's engine. And then over the coming years, we began to see multiple releases of the More Oblivion project as it was completed. Then in 2011, we had the release, of course, of Skyrim. Being one of the most popular games of the time, the modding community around that game exploded. And with such a strong modding community being built around the game, ambitious modders decided to port and recreate the Elder Scrolls Oblivion in Skyrim's engine. And that project started in 2012. And in 2014, we saw the final release of the More Oblivion project. Uh, I played this myself and it was fantastic. It was actually my, the very first time I dipped my toes into the Elder Scrolls universe. See, I wanted to play Oblivion before I played Skyrim and I wanted to play Morrowind before I played Oblivion. But Morrowind had potato graphics and with the availability of the More Oblivion project, that's what I decided to play and it was fantastic. The team did a fantastic job. But then shortly after that, I played Oblivion, which was amazing. Hands down, one of my favorite games. It was such a fun world to experience. And here we are, mid-2019, we just got this amazing teaser trailer for the Sky Oblivion project, which is supposedly nearing completion. They're seeing the light at the end of the tunnel, and it may be not too long before we can get our greasy little paws on that beautiful project. So Sky Oblivion has about 50 people working on it. They're all volunteers that are just working on this in their free time, so we don't really know uh, when the release date's gonna be, but they've said that it's gonna be sooner rather than later. Um, they're kind of nearing the end of the project of development, um, and we might see a release relatively soon, which is great. I mean, it's been in development for like seven years, and that's not a criticism. I mean, this is a massive project, and it's completely done by volunteers. So the fact that they've worked on this so fervently for so long is a testament to their passion for this you know, amazing franchise. The teaser trailer that they recently released has racked up over two million views on YouTube already, and uh, it's well-deserved. It's gotten a lot of attention, a lot of press. A lot of people are making videos about it, writing articles about it. In order to play Sky Oblivion, you're going to need to own Oblivion and Skyrim, along with all of their DLCs on PC. It's only available on PC. Performance-wise, they said it should basically run you know along the same lines of Skyrim so whatever kind of performance you're getting in Skyrim you should expect you know roughly the same performance in the Sky Oblivion mod. The mod aims to be a complete recreation of Oblivion including all of the quests including um, 
of the base game and the DLCs. They're doing their best to implement the original game systems from Oblivion. We may even see some cut content from the original Oblivion as well as some additional content. Hopefully that release date's not too far out because I want it. I'm just really excited for this. This is such a cool project. I can't wait to get my hands on it. This just dills my pickle. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. I'm gonna read some comments from my previous video which was about how Borderlands 3 publisher Take Two is being dumb. Chris Moss says, triplets, nice edit. Yeah, it was really challenging to get the two private investigators side by side. I was like trying to get it done in one take because I didn't want my neighbors like coming outside and be like, what is this guy doing like with the camera in the doorway and dressed up funny? But it went pretty well. It synced up better than I thought it would. Chronic Spartan Games says, I can't believe the way they handled Submato. That's ridiculous. I agree. They went about this the most tactless way that they probably could have. What they really need to do is have the legal department in contact with the public relations department. And maybe they could avoid some of these blunders. Prezoni says, can you blow up please? That'd be cool. Uh, it would be awesome if the channel blew up. That'd be fun. I hope you're not talking about me, myself physically blowing up, because that would suck.